Hey guys. guys! Welcome to a new video and in this video we're going to give you a review of the Ibis Hotel in Marnay La Vallée. Yeah, we stayed there in a weekend that we tried three different hotels in one weekend and the other hotels we're going to show you on a later date. So in this video you will see a review of the Ibis Hotel Marnay La Vallée. Uh, but while I was trying to edit this video something uh, came up. It wasn't that easy. There's somebody at home who would like to tell you something about that. So hey guys, sorry to interrupt already at the beginning of this video, but I'm editing Elisa and I've got something very important to tell you because when I was starting to edit this video, I thought it would be fun to show you guys a map on where you can find this hotel. Now when we went to the Ibis Hotel, I told Sven that I booked this hotel because it was just outside of the ring of Disneyland Paris. Now the crazy part was that when we wanted to go to the hotel, we typed in the address and we had to take the highway and it was a 30 minute drive at least to get to the hotel. And I didn't understand anything about it because I could swear that I booked a hotel near Disneyland Paris. So what was up with that? Well after some research I found out that there's not one Ibis Hotel in Marne La but there are several. There are at least six hotels that are all in the neighborhood of Marnay La Vallée and Ibis also promotes them like that. Now this is where the confusion begins because we booked a hotel in Marnay La Vallée but that's of course a very big region so this was far away from Disneyland Paris. I looked at the hotel that I thought that we booked and I looked it up on Ibis and that's where the confusion gets even worse. On the Accor Hotel website, they claim that this hotel is located just outside of the ring. They even show an image of Google Maps where you can see it for yourself. However, when you type in this image in your own Google Maps, you will find a very different address. It will take you on a 15 minute drive at least to get to your hotel. So it seems that not only the website is confusing because there are so many hotels within the Marnay La Vallée area, but they also mix up addresses, so you really have to be careful which hotel you're booking because you never know where you're gonna end up. Now when I looked on Google Maps to see what hotel is actually on that specific location, I found out that that's the Ibis Budget Hotel and not the Ibis Hotel that we booked. So that explains a lot of the confusion. So now that I'm talking to you anyway, we can tell you that we used a certain system to grade the different hotels. So we are talking about what we think about the staff, what we think about the room in total, square meters, but also the bed and all the extras. So now that we've got all this out of the way, without any further ado, let's continue this video and we will start at the Ibis Hotel. That hurts. It's stiff, sturdy. The window opens? Yes, it oh. opens. Oh, hey. It cannot be fully open because they locked it. Yes, Would they locked it. Yeah. This is the view. Good morning. Good this morning, was... guys. <laughs> uh, it's early and, uh, well, yeah, the first night was here at the Ibis Hotel in Marne La Vallée. Point number one, what did you think about the staff and our welcome here in this hotel? Okay, so when we entered the hotel, first I thought that we um, arrived in a, a youth hotel because there was a lot of yeah, young people uh, talking. I thought maybe the bar was completely filled, but it seemed that the receptionist, he had all his friends come over and they were chatting in the lobby, which had a, a yeah, Actually, it was a fun vibe because it was chatty and fun. Everybody was having a good time. On the other hand, it felt like we were sleeping in a youth hotel instead of in an actual real hotel. Yeah. So um, also, he didn't really speak very good English. He only said three words. It was 411, which was our room. And he pointed in the right direction. He smiled kind. He seemed kind. But 
it was not the kind of uh, welcoming that you um, expect when you are entering a hotel. He was also very quick because he didn't ask for our passports or any kind of identification. Uh, at least showed the uh, uh, reservation. On and my so, mobile phone? On your mobile phone. Just, well, no, 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 I it's don't okay. have to see it. It's okay. And uh, name, name, and... Uh, well, just said my name and... Yeah. It was okay. We immediately got the hotel key. You went upstairs and that was, that was it. So that was it. So in general, I have to give the welcoming a five and a half. It was, it was very friendly, but it wasn't very... Uh, professional? Type, pro professional, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a six. The next point that we want to grade this hotel on is the hotel room, which includes the bathroom and also the square meters of this hotel room. What yeah. do you think? It's a very small room. Uh, it's just a bed and you can barely walk around the uh, bed. Uh, it's a nice little table, uh, but it's very, very tiny. It feels very cramped. Uh, we're not the tallest but we're not really short either yeah so size wise it's mm, yeah doable one night but don't make your whole trip uh, don't spend your whole trip in this uh, hotel i mean if i want to go enter the bathroom sven had to step out of it and uh, yeah it was no th that was really cramped so and what about the bathroom clean uh, cramped clogged sink again if you want to take a shower uh, you really have to be really really early otherwise other people are using the shower as well and all the hot water comes from one system so if one opens a tap you have hot water and if the second one opens a tap it's cold plus point is that they have enough uh, electrical sockets and USB ports to charge your phone or other appliances. Uh, the grade I would give this room would be mm, a six. Yes, me too. I like the design. It was really nicely decorated, um, but like so I totally agree with what Sven says. So I give it a six as well. Number three, uh, the night rest and how the bed sleeps. Yeah, well, I didn't sleep too well because. Um, there was there was a lot of sound. You could hear the neighbors coughing, talking, going to the bathroom, uh, closing a door. Um, in the middle of the night, I I woke up because I heard um, people uh, throw yeah glass in the in a glass in the, in uh, the glass container. Glass container. This green box. Yeah. It's the box where you can deposit your empty beer bottles. And it just kept me awake and I just put my hand on my ear, tried to sleep again. Yeah, and trains. And on the top of it, then we also had the air conditioning, which was, it was very warm in this room. And the air conditioning, once in a while, it just turned on and it was yeah it wasn't it wasn't really getting cold or anything it was just it made a lot of noise and that was it so i don't understand why we have an air conditioner here and it's too bad that this window cannot open uh wider than it can because it would have been nice but on the other hand we would have more we would have had yeah. more noise we, if, yeah. you, if you would stay on the other side it would be better i think it would be better mm. you would still have noise of uh, the the guests next to you in in a adjacent rooms but you wouldn't have as much noise from the trains and traffic when you want to book this this uh, a hotel um take a room on the other side i totally agree that will help yeah. and what about the bed well for us the bed was narrow and um Short, short. Um, but yeah, that's also personal because we're tall. Um, but it was, it was, again, one of those beds that you could feel how people slept in it before you because the mattress is already, yeah, dented. Dented, yeah. So um, sorry, but I didn't. It was not good. No, no, I'm I'm very happy that I don't have to sleep another night in this bed. We slept in many hotels now, and this is not the first time that we had a bed like this. But I would give it another a six. Yeah, and maybe I am positive then. <laughs> a six. I will give it a six. Uh, yeah, I I slept quite well, but that's also because uh, yesterday I got up at uh, five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so you were very tired. Very tired. But size-wise and and the rest with the noise, yeah, six. 
Also a six. Okay. Yeah. Are there any positive things about this room or extras that you would like to mention? Yes. There are positives to this hotel. Whoa. Whoa. Looks nice. Yeah. Feels yeah fresh. fresh yeah, it feels fresh. Contemporary. Other positive thing is uh, the location next to the train station. Yes, it is it's a downside because of the noise, but it's also a positive. Plus yeah. yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I believe it's one train stop away from Disneyland Paris. So what you can do is drop your car here at the hotel. It's free parking, which free is also parking. positive. And you can take the train into Disneyland Paris. So yesterday we couldn't see this, but I've got my bearings now. Uh, the building that you see in the middle of the screen, that's the train station of Marinette La Vallée, or at least where we're staying, yes. And that will get you into Disneyland Paris in a jiffy. So it's close to the highway, yeah. uh, so that's also a positive side. Um, what I liked is that when we entered the room, there was a rose there. Can you can you get yeah. it? They had a Valentine's gift, so a rose. A real one, not a, a plastic one? No. And also a card uh, which says in French, a, a very no, pleasant stay here. Pleasant portion. stay and also Valentine's Day. Yeah. So that that's cool. And I've never seen that anywhere before. So they this was actually something that made uh, the entrance to the room immediately positive. So all in all, this is our grade that we give this hotel. Um, I personally won't sleep here again. Um, it was 50 euros a night, which is of course amazingly cheap. I will not stay here again. No. I'm sorry guys, but no. it's true. Me neither. No. No. And, okay. it's not, and that's not just because I want to stay with Lisa and she won't sleep here anymore. If, <laughs> if I would have a choice, I wouldn't book this one again either. No. No. Now, I'm ready to go to uh, Disneyland Paris. So yeah, let's, let's go. Let's see uh, what the day has in store, store? for us. Mm, yeah. So, well guys, this was the end of the video about the Ibis Hotel. Hope you liked it. And we hope that you can use it if you would like to stay here in the neighborhood. And um, well, maybe next time. We'll see, see you in Main, Main Street. Street. Bye. Bye.